And finally in sport tonight, Anthony Mundine has had a storied career from rugby league to boxing world champion. He's never been afraid to court controversy. The 41-year-old is on the cusp of hanging up his gloves following tonight's long-awaited rematch against Danny Green. In tonight's special feature, he talks boxing, Indigenous issues and life inside and outside the ring. The same steely gaze after 17 years in the ring. I'm always confident, I'm always cocky. They should write a movie about me. Never before, never again. <laughs> and if there was a film, tonight's fight with Danny Green may be the climax. It could be the last time Mundine laces up the gloves. A time for the man to reflect on his career and his legacy. What I've done never has been done. I, went for, I dominated one sport and then went to another sport, the hardest sport in the world in boxing, and, won, and become a three-time three -time world champ. And recognition of that achievement from those who've watched his career closely. If you cut away all the controversy, you've got to give a lot of respect to Anthony, one of Australia's best multi-sportsmen. And a self-styled crusader, not afraid to court controversy. From insisting America brought the September 11 attacks upon itself to refusing to stand for the national anthem in tonight's bout. They're major issues, you know what I mean? So they have to be talked about. I'm just trying to change the, the system for the better, you know what I mean? Especially the, my people, the Aboriginal people. Indeed, community and family have been potent forces in Mundine's life. The reason I don't drink, smoke or take, take any drugs is because of my dad. Much of this learning as a boxer and a man done in this building, Redfern Gym, soon to be demolished. Before my last training session at the gym, I took all these photos of the gym, you know, of every little place in the gym, so I've got that memory, you know, in my mind. An end of an era for the gym and perhaps two for Mundine. Tonight's rematch, 10 years in the making, the man's speed versus Green's punching power. For Mundine, a worthy gambit. It's going to be what's going to be. Let's go. Darren Mara, SBS World News. And Janice, that's the day in sport. Nice one, Foz. Thanks. Coming up, the weather details and a festival of flavours as the Vietnamese community celebrate Tet.